Tad Cummings, the former Tennessee teacher, accused of kidnapping his 15-year-old student, was arrested Thursday at a Northern Carolina cabin. Cummings was taken into custody and Elizabeth was safely rescued in Cecilville, California. The TBI told how they received a tip from a California resident at 11 p.m. Central Wednesday. The informant told he believed to have seen Elizabeth and Cummings and had information they had taken residence in a cabin over the last week and a half. It was reported that their home caught fire and Elizabeth and Cummings were in need of money. Besides the information of their whereabouts, the authorities were told how the man who reported the pair thought it was weird how Cummings kept Elizabeth away and talked on her behalf. According to KDRV-TV, the pair had been in the cabin for 36 hours when the man who called in and reported the sighting had seen a picture of them and realized who they were. The witness told how he thought, oh my gosh, oh crap, what am I gonna do, call the cops? TBI spokesman Just Divine told they notified the authorities who had challenges to overcome in locating the pair. The area was a very remote and isolated area with no or very limited cell phone service. It was deputies who located Cummins Nissan Rogue and kept it under surveillance for hours. The license plate had been removed but was verified through its VIN number. As the date broke, Cummings was taken into custody without further incident. After he was spotted walking out of the cabin on 80 Gulls, and Elizabeth was then rescued. It has been reported by deputies that Cummings was cooperative and one law enforcement member told how the former teacher had made a spontaneous statement saying he was glad it was over. The authorities added it was obvious Elizabeth and Cummings had a relationship and the 15-year-old girl's response to the law enforcement escalated up and down. When rescued, Elizabeth was found in good health. She will now receive all the care she might need. A couple of stolen license plates was found in the cabin along with two noted handguns and other personal items belonging to both Elizabeth and Cummings. Cummings will be arranged Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific time and Elizabeth is expected to be reunioned with her family in Tennessee in the near future where she will be flight back home on a TBI aircraft. The TBI originally said the pair was found at a commune in Cecilville and later said it was a rural cabin. At some point while in Northern California the pair did stay at the Black Bear Ranch commune for at least two days but were asked to leave. Elizabeth Thomas and Ted Cummings vanished from Columbia, Tennessee on March 13th. An Amber Alert was issued across the state of Tennessee the following day and Cummings got placed on the TBI's top 10 most wanted list on March 17th. During the investigation, the TBI told they received around 1500 tips regarding the case. Ted Cummings already faced one count of kidnapping in the case, which has been upgraded to aggravated kidnapping. Cummings now faces a federal charge of transportation of a minor across state lines for the purpose of having criminal sexual intercourse. Attorney Jack Smith said Cummings could face 8 to 12 years on the aggravated kidnapping charge. Smith told the federal charges carries a required minimum sentence of 10 years behind bars, but in this case, the sentence could possibly be quite longer. Besides, Cummings faces one count of sexual contact with a minor from an incident that happened earlier this year. As a student reportedly 
witnessed Cummings kiss Elizabeth at school back in January. At 6 p.m. Thursday, Cummings remained in the custody where he is being held without bond, awaiting extradition to Tennessee. Maury County School, where Cummings was a teacher until he was fired the day after he disappeared with Elizabeth, released a statement on the conclusion of the case. School officials expressed how Elizabeth's safe return is wonderful news for the community and how they now can begin healing as a community, school, district and as families touched by the Amber Alert. The statement continued, quote, Thanks to all who have kept the message of finding Elizabeth Thomas and working on her safe return as top of mind throughout the nation. The efforts of the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, Maury County Sheriff's Office, nationwide law enforcement, community and media outlets promoting awareness of this case have brought us to the safe conclusion and Maury County Public Schools wants to thank these many professionals from the good news today. Don't miss out on any crime news. Become a member of our community on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and don't forget to slap that follow button and remember to click the bell. Then you will receive a notification when we have news for you.